First and foremost, I want to take the time to reflect on the Vermonters and Burlingtonians that we have lost due to the coronavirus and to continue to urge our residents to take extra precautions that is necessary to stay safe and keep our neighbors and community members as well as co-workers safe. I also would like to express my deep gratitude to the first responders, police officers, firefighters, healthcare workers, grocery store workers that stepped up in so many different ways in running our city and state during these unprecedented and uncertain times. Today, I officially announce my candidacy as the next mayor, the city of Burlington. I am a three year term city councilor and member of the Board of Finance running as an independent to bring transparency, action and action back to our city government. Our city needs a trustworthy leader with an inclusive vision geared toward bringing people together and transforming Vermont's largest city into the best small city in North America. This campaign, our campaign, is about leadership and action. The leadership that truly will implement a vision for a fair, just, and equitable city that works for everyone. Keep everyone safe and healthy and move us into the future with a smart and sustainable policies. I came to this country 13 years ago as an African immigrant, not speaking English, not knowing the American culture, but I worked hard to find my ways in a new place and makes a difference in my community. As a family outreach coordinator at the Burlington School District and the founder and manager of the Burlington School District Parent University to support and engage new American families. Also as a board member at the Champlain Valley Office of Economic Services, a co-founder of the Vermont New American Advisory Council, VNAC, I have been a Burlington City Council for over three years now. As a City Council, I am a member of the Board of Finance. I am the co, the chair of the Racial Equity, Inclusion and Belonging Committee for the City of Burlington. But as of next mayor, these are my few priorities. Confront our many public health crises with expertise and leadership. Combat systemic racism. Yep. improve the city's hiring practices to ensure that the city workforce and its department heads reflect the community that we serve. Bring fiscal responsibility and transparency to city budgeting, which is our moral document. Create an inclusive public downtown district that supports local and small businesses. I would like also to restructure some government service department to tackle infrastructure upgrades, eradicate homelessness in our city through innovative housing models. I would like also to create a commission on aging to address the needs of all the Vermonters as well as a commission around access for those who are experiencing disabilities. My recent accomplishment to the city includes working in collaboration with community organization. I secured unanimous support from the Burlington City Council colleagues for the creation of an Office of Racial Equity, Inclusion and Belonging and the Racial Equity and Belonging Committee that I currently chair. I strongly advocated for a full staffed new ambulance in the new North End and restarted the long overdue process 
for the city to take responsibility for upgrading and maintaining the streets of Franklin Square neighborhood. Burlington has a lot of work to do to recover from COVID-19. We need to strengthen the social and economic ties in the community and tackle tough issues like housing, policing, and I am ready and willing to work with everyone in all parties and across all sectors to build a healthier, stronger, more and just inclusive city. We can do the hard and necessary work and we can do it alone. We cannot do it alone. We will do it together. I hope that you all will join me in this journey in making sure that the city of Burlington is the best small city in North America. We have done so many great things together and now it is about time that we work for transparency, unity and take actions on things that matter. Thank you all for being here and now uh, my friend Miles will be playing a video about our campaign, what it is about. Thank you, and please stay for the questions. The residents of Burlington needs an inclusive leader in City Hall, a municipal government for the community and by the community. Like all Burlingtonians, we are all aging. Our city owes its residents commitment that fulfills its democratic promise. A promise for a better future for us, our children, and vulnerable communities. I have been fighting for the dignity of all people since before immigrating to Vermont from Africa 13 years ago. I have been fighting for a Burlington that is fair and welcoming to all people, regardless of their religion, their race, their gender or who they love. Without a political party or backbone organization, I have accomplished so much through collaboration, commitment, and passion in filling the gaps. This is why I pledge to run as an independent, not seeking endorsements from political organizations or parties. I believe it is only through collaboration and creativity that we can collectively solve the fundamental issues of our time. In my years of public service, I have learned this important lesson. It is not enough to be right. You must strive for clear and transparent processes and active community engagement, bringing everyone along to get things done. Burlingtonians want a government that can be trusted to do the right things no matter what, especially when no one is looking. A government that cares enough to start the healing and build unity around our community needs and values. I fundamentally believe with all my being that we are going to be okay and Burlington can become the best small city in North America. My name is Ali and I'm proud to announce my candidacy for mayor of the city of Burlington. Please vote Ali Jang for mayor on town meeting day. Ali is your ally in City Hall. Let's go! Vote, vote, vote for Ali Jang. is right. Vote, vote, vote for Ali Jang. Let's do it for the time. is right. right. Let's unite. Wonderful. Um, thank you again, uh, uh, everyone, for being here. And I think it is about time for us to take a couple of questions. And we know that uh, some of the uh, reporters would want to speak with me afterwards, right? And uh, if there is anyone with a question, to please put it on the chat box, and we will try to at least answer a couple of them. Okay.
that is yeah can you hear liam uh yeah hi um Ali, i was just wondering um this is we're looking at kind of the the field right now and you know you're not the only candidate in this race there's at least three other people who are also running so i'm just wondering um you know how how are you differentiating yourself from those other candidates uh in, in this pretty crowded field right now Wonderful. okay thank you um i think it's a great question and it's been coming up for a lot the way that i differentiate myself is very easy I have been the voice of reason at the Burlington City Council for quite some time now, you know, uh, because I strive for a process and I'm also an independent. I am not seeking endorsement from any political party or backbone organization. I want to lead this city with open transparency, right, and also bringing the council together in bringing, uh, in solving the critical problems of our time, such as climate change, social justice, economic justice, etc. Yeah. So the voters of Burlington have the opportunity on town meeting day to vote for the candidate that they feel is the one who can take, uh, bring the council back together and together we collectively will be solving the problem of our time. My difference, I am a person of color of all the candidates running I am the only one who um, is working and understand the uh, multi uh, the communities, unfranchised communities such as the New Americans. I have lived experiences, right? And I came here. I worked hard, and today I'm in front of you running for mayor. And I want to also um, inspire, be the cheerleader in making sure that Burlingtonians are now united right, and are now going to collectively come together because we all experience so many hardship under the leadership of Miro Weinberger over the past couple of years around the police issue, around the lack of the development uh, at the city place and so many other issues. Uh, and I will be also striving for action and action that are uh, really researched, that are vetted and that receive the appropriate uh, level of support from the community members that we try to serve. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Maybe uh, one more question. Yeah, the chat. Can you read one, 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 one more? One question there. Okay, Paul Constantino is asking, can you give an example on how you have worked to bring committee members together over the past three years? Thank you, Paul. I think uh, one of my biggest accomplishments as a city councillor is in making sure that the city of Burlington will to create the Office of the Racial Equity and Belonging Committee. It was a resolution that I worked on in collaboration with the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance. And together I secured the vote with my city council colleagues, right? And that is exactly how I would wanna continue to work with my colleagues as the next mayor of the city. As we move forward, I will create what we call a policy bank. Anyone, including the community members can submit policy ideas and collectively with the council, we'll pick one policy, research it, vet it, and find the appropriation necessary to move us forward. It's no longer me as an independent mayor to caucus with a different party, but I want to caucus with the district city council. So those are approaches in bringing everyone together, uh, tackle the issues in front of us, and move forward. Okay, Monica is asking, what is your plan to eradicate homelessness? I invite you all also to visit my website. For each items that I discuss with you today, there is a plan. To eradicate homelessness, we can do so many different things. 
One of them, as of mayor, I will be exploring what we call the tiny home village. There are so many municipalities doing it. It is only the matter of finding the land. And we know that the tiny home village can be built in one day, one home, one day, and it will be costing over or less than $10,000 or no more. So that's one concrete example. Also, we will have a focus on chronic homelessness, those who are chronically homeless. And also that tiny home village will also implement what we call uh, wrap around services, in making sure that those people not only at home, they're given homes to live, but also will receive the appropriate services that they need to live in dignity as member of the community. Hi, Ali, this is Courtney from Seven Days. Can you hear me? Yes, Courtney. Hi, um, question for you. Um, I'm So as of now, there are four people running for mayor, Moreau and, and uh, three other folks. Are you concerned at all about um, those three, you know, yourself, Max Tracy and Patrick White, splitting the opposition vote against Moreau? And do you think that could possibly land him into a fourth term as it did in 2018? Are you kind of, have you given any thought to that sort of situation happening again? Yeah. It is a similar question of uh, Liam. And I do believe that the Burlingtonians are ready for change. And through any calculation, we cannot see Miro winning this election again. None of them, right? I think the voters of Burlington have the chance to at least have two city, current city councils running. One of them is Max, one of them is me. And I've been ready to take the reign of the city and bring it to the next level of excellence. And I think I am not concerned. What I'm concerned about is my message to not be able to reach every voters in here. And the focus of our campaign is exactly that. What's my message and how do we make sure that it is accessible to all voters? I think town meeting day, 7 p.m., you will see that the voice of reason that I've been working on so hard, the Burlington City Council, right? Trying to bring everyone together, people value it. And I am confident that on town meeting day, they will give me a huge win that will move us to the next level of excellence. Thank you. Maybe one more question. Okay. 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 Yeah, so I mean, I think it's uh, also important. Uh, Karen did ask me to talk about this. She is a resident of the New North End, and she has a child who experienced disability, as well as all the families. I think I will be creating what we call a commission that will look into accessibility. To date, they have been working so hard with the current administration in making sure that those who experience uh, who are disabled, physically disabled, have access to city uh, amenities such as the parks, etc. Right? My commission will be entailed for, uh, to target uh, those people who are experiencing that issue. And we would need to have shift the way we think about uh, equity. It's no longer about race, but it's also about age, it's also about gender, it's also about disability. Right? And as part of my council, soon you will be seeing on my website the proposal that would entail, that would outline how we will get this, get this done. And most importantly, cities are not run by individuals. Cities are run by teams. And I build a strong team of dedicated people who care deeply about this city to bring us to the next level of excellence. And many people are not talking about that. To date, no campaign manager yet because my campaign manager will be my chief of staff and I'm doing a very deep research of people who have the same values that I have in including people, right? In reaching out to those who don't have a voice, the Burlington City, uh, by the city, and also to make sure that the city's resources are allocated to the right programs and projects that will serve the people of this great city.
thank you all for being here with us today. And we hope that you will stay engaged in this campaign. Visit my website, um, send us emails, and interact with your friends, your coworkers, in making sure that we take our city back. Thank you all, and please vote Ali Jeng on town meeting day. Have a great and wonderful day. Okay, bye bye. Ooh, let's go. Bug, bug, bug.